Here the question is: an employee's bonus is to be calculated. It cannot become negative, but it can be calculated to zero. The bonus is based on the duration of the employment. An employee can be employed for less than or equal to two years, more than two years, but less than five years, five to ten years, or longer than ten years. Depending on this period of employment, an employee will get bonus of zero percent, ten percent, twenty-five percent, or thirty-five percent. How many equivalence partitions are needed to test the calculation of the bonus? And these are our options. Let's draw the equivalence classes diagram to get the answer. As per the question, it cannot become negative, but it can be calculated to zero. That means zero is one of the boundaries. Next condition is. An employee can be employed for less than or equal to two years. That means two is one of the boundaries. Next condition is more than two years, but less than five years. With this, we get five as one of the boundaries. And next condition is five to ten years, or longer than ten years. With this. We get ten as one of the boundaries, and then we have bonus of zero percent, ten percent, twenty-five percent, or thirty-five percent, respectively. With this, the equivalence partition diagram is ready, and we can see that we have five equivalence partition. Therefore, option B is the answer.